Okay, first question. This is equation that contain actual value. Then the solution is you solving the actual value part. Isolate. You're moving 7 to the right hand side. It's 1 minus 7. Then 4x plus 5 is equal to negative 6. Okay, so we have no solution. Why? When the right hand side is negative. It's obvious that this equation is a contradiction because actual value always produce positive value. Okay, the second question is compute the value of the y in the following system of equation. And this is the system. <coughs> so maybe we apply elimination. Elimination, you multiply uh, equation number one by negative two. Uh, what is the intention? The intention is negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And now the new equation is negative 2x minus ay equal to negative 26. Because negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative uh, times 4 is negative 8. And times 13 is negative 26. When you adding this and this equation, this part cancels out. This is intention subtraction so here, negative five. Y equal this is negative twenty divided by negative five both sides. The answer is four. This is exactly the one. I want only y equal four. I don't know why they don't like they don't ask you about x. If you want to find x, it's easy because the only thing that you should do is a substitution in either equation. For example, let's do it in the first one. It's x plus 4 times 4 equals 13. x plus 16 equals 13. x equals 13 minus 16 because negative 3. Now x is equal to negative 3. And the other pair solution is negative 3, comma 4. But in the test day 1, only the y value. It's the question. Look here. Find the value of y. OK. Graph the solution of the inequality. It's a compound inequality. And for solving this, uh, the procedure is always the same. You're subtracting 4 here. It's a 3, 7 minus 4. This part cancels out. That was intention. Bring down 3x. Less than or equal 13 minus 4 is 9. Divided by 3. Divided by 3. Divided by 3 is positive. I like think quality stays the same. This is 1. Less than x. Less than or equal 3. Okay, so you, you need to see the graphic. I suppose this line represents all real number. This is zero in the middle. This is infinity positive. This is infinity negative. This is one here, two and three. If the interval between two and three include one and include three. Bracket bracket. Okay, this is the solution is in interval notation is bracket one comma three bracket. Okay, number four is pretty easy. Let's multiply two binomial that contain radical, but they are conjugate. So you see that they are conjugate. See they are conjugate. The only thing you should do is multiplication first. Radical five times radical five is five. And last Okay, it's 3 times 3 and minus always is 9, the answer is negative 4. That's it, that's it, super easy. But suppose that you don't know the shortcut. 
and you remember only foil. Okay, first, our inner last. That's the only thing you remember. You want to blind? First, radical five and radical five is five. Outer is this time this is minus three, radical five. This is outer. First, outer, inner. Inner is this. Is plus three, radical five. And last is minus nine. Okay, always happen when they are conjugate this and this is opposite, completely opposite sign, cancels out. The final answer is 5 minus 9 and negative 4, same answer. Same answer. Okay, this number 5 is a word problem that uh, is solved possible by quadratic equation. So we have a rectangular garden. I suppose that the length is L and the width, the width is this W <coughs> the, the expression is 9 feet less than the left that's L minus 9 L minus 9 if the area inside is 36 square feet Yeah, I know very well the area formula is the multiplication L times W. Find the length. Then you set up <coughs> the equation. In this case, the equation has two variables, L and W, but we have the relationship between W and length, because this. So this W is equal to L minus 9. So the area get 36 is equal to L time L minus 9. Uh -huh. Now, but this is the quadratic equation. You apply this through with the property. 36 is equal to L squared minus 9L. You write in standard form. L squared minus 9L minus 36 equal to 0. And you solve with this quadratic formula. Solving by factory, maybe. And the, the factorization in this case is 12 and 3, because 12 times 3 is 36, and 12 minus 3 is 9. Different sign, this is negative and this is positive. One solution is L equal 12, another solution is L equal negative 3. But you discard the solution, only positive solution. Why? Only possibly because it's this time, it's physical problem, it's geometrical problem. So you take only, only, we take the positive solution. Solution, in this case, is L equal to, and that's it.